And Robert, what I want to talk to you about today is the top 10 traits that turn men majorly on and off as they get older. Great topic for this channel. Did you push record? Thanks so much for joining us on Second Act TV. Today, I'm so happy to once again welcome back one of our favorite guests, our very own Guy Sky, Robert Manny. Robert, thanks so much for joining me again. Always a pleasure, Silka. Hello, everybody out there. How are you doing? Well, Robert, uh, if you have not seen him on Second Act yet, is the author of The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love, a fabulous novel that every woman needs to read if you want to know what men think. <laughs> and he's the host of Guy's Guy Radio. We'll link to all of your fabulous podcasts Thank there, you. Robert. And Robert, what I want to talk to you about today, what I thought was a perfect conversation for us, is an article that I ran across. Uh, the title is The Top 10 Traits That Turn Men Majorly On and Off As They Get Older. Great topic for this channel. Uh, it was, uh, well, it was a survey. Your Tango did the survey. I know you're familiar with them. And uh, here, let me, let me read them to you real fast because I, I want to get okay. your input on what, you know, do you agree with this? What, what strikes you about these top 10 turnoffs? So uh, number one, or I'll go, I'll go from 10 down to, to, to the top. So number 10 is racist or prejudice ideologies. Yeah, extreme views on religion, lack of sexual skills, poor personal hygiene, Lack of drive and ambition, narcissism, lack of empathy, boredom, lack of adventure, lack of intelligence, number two, immaturity and childishness, and number one, the biggest turnoff, according to this big survey, <laughs> lack of romantic love. Well, a very interesting list. Let's start with the big one, then, lack of romance. I think, uh, you know, I usually look at things in general terms from humanity like not separating men and women. We're all people and we want to be on an equal playing field. But in this particular case, there are, and it, what happens is there are specific things and trends that happen as we age, whether it be masculine or feminine. And for lack of romance, I think, of course, it's always an issue for women if the guy doesn't do anything romantic. But for men, as they age, I think, they're looking for more uh, romantic um, interplay and uh, validity in their relationship by feeling that there's a love connection there instead of just a physical connection or whatever. So I would think that is very important that uh, couples in general, and it's not on the woman and it's not on the man, man specifically, it's on both people to make sure that you're bringing the fun to the relationship and that you always consider that you you think back, you think back on what did we do when we were dating? How would I, how would I address and respond to this issue? How would I take, how would I turn my partner on? How would I get he or her interested instead of just taking things for granted. And so I think lack of romance is very important because it brings the fun. It's the fun factor in the relationship. And when you are dating, you know, dating's a fun sport, hopefully. And you know, now it's a very overthought, but um, people would think about it way too much. And just, you know, because there's a special universe that's created when a man and a woman get together that nobody can ever replicate. And that's interesting and it's fascinating, it's fun, but we're too analytical about about relationships now and don't let the the heart space play in, play enough. So I think lack of romance is huge. I think another one that jumped out at me was uh, narcissism, no empathy. And I'll tell you why for men, because as men age, they're looking for validity. They're looking for credibility. They're looking for validation because the way society has trained men is your value is in direct correlation with what you bring to the table, the money, the food, what you provide for your family. If you're not being uh, validated for that or acknowledged for that, it really takes the air out of the balloon for guys. Now, I'm not saying that's the way it should be, but this is the way our culture has been set up, like men provides, re regardless of what the woman does. The men, you still have to bring it. You got to bring it. You got to provide. You got to have, uh, you know, provide security, protection, financial, so the rest of your family doesn't have to worry. That's what you do. And a lot of men are defined and define themselves by their job and their wallet. And that's okay to a certain point because these are real factors in our kind of 3D world. But beyond that, the other aspects to being a man that are very, very important that, um, 
that need to be uh, integrated into a man's life as they age that will make them sexier to their partner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. The uh, be, you know since it was supposed to be or is uh, twenty thousand, you know, a sampling of twenty thousand here. I I thought that the uh, like the extreme religious or or ideology and and that sort of thing. I found it interesting that that would make it to the top, and I'm wondering if that has anything to do with the fact that this is edited by women. Um, I don't know about that. I think it could be just the uh, um, how they found the people for the survey, depending on you know what race, what situation you're in. You know, obviously, if you're a minority, racism is going to play a bigger factor in your day to day life than if you're a Caucasian, which you don't really experience it the same the same way. So it might be in just how they who the people are that they talk to and what the percentages were. And I, I don't know, but listen, anybody who um, has two uh, you know, intolerant views on religion and race is a, that's a that's a downer, and that's not going to be something that's attractive, particularly for women. They don't want a guy who's going to be, you know, they don't want to date Taliban members or whatever. It's like, <laughs> come on, you know. <laughs> Sorry, Taliban. <laughs> that's okay. You, you can insult them. <laughs> um, the the other the the lack of intelligence and immaturity and childishness, childishness. Yeah, I, I, I would probably agree with that. Of course, I'm the woman. I would like to think that intelligence is valued, especially uh, as a man gets older. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. Like, do you want to be with somebody who's immature? You're a 50-year-old guy. Do you want to be with some- No. Who wants to be with somebody immature or somebody lack of intelligence? Do you want to be with somebody who's not very smart? You know, if they're a good person, it's not their fault. And, you know, anybody can. It's all about education and stuff. So, you know, it, if, if, if you're a Ph.D. and uh, your partner works in a coffee shop, you know, you might have a disconnect in terms of things that you're going to be talking about and relate to and your interests. So, yeah, I understand that. But it shouldn't be a finger wag or a put down on somebody for lack of intelligence. It should be, I think, more important is if they have a lack of a plan or a lack of passion for life and a lack of interest in other people and a lack of, you know, joy to vivre, like a lack of uh, joy, a lack of happiness, a lack of laughter. Those, to me, are more important than pure intellectual capacity. Yeah. Um, but, I, but I understand. I think it's about people want to be on somewhat of a similar level in terms of their partner so they can relate to things and have topics to talk about that they're in sync with. Yeah. Well, let's move on. Let's move on to the top 10 turn ons uh, that they extracted Ooh, yeah. from the same survey. And I'll, I'll start again from the, from the bottom on up. And number 10 was body type, nine, smile then ambition, fitness, sexual proudness, intelligence, sense of humor, listening skills, communication skills, and number one, kindness. Anything jump out here? Well, uh, the fact that kindness came in number one, I think it's a really good thing. But I also think when people do these surveys that people answer knowing that they're being surveyed and they think they're being judged and they're not. So they'll say, oh, yeah, kindness is much more important than... uh, uh, a leather leather outfit, you know, <laughs> you, you don't know, but you know, everybody's going to put on their best, you know, they put their best face forward, if you would. And uh, so I understand these kindness, of course, uh, communication and listening skills, you, we want to be able to relate a uh, sense of humor, awesome and intelligence, of course, can be very, very sexy, sexual prowess. I mean, you know, how, sometimes when you get into a relationship, it doesn't start out uh, that sexual but then it gets there. And a lot of it where the fuel to, to get it there is from here. When it's in your heart, then that could bring out the sexuality. And at least that's been my experience. And uh, I think that's a good way to look at it. Of course, fitness is sexy and ambition and having you know, like having some type of drive. And it's really about a passion for life. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of those things, of course, are ter- turn ons. And it's not to put down kindness. But, you know, guys are visual. And when they answer the questions for the survey, they're going to they're going to try to say the right thing. Yeah. Well, it's just cool. It's OK. Yeah. The uh, it, they draw the conclusion here that uh, so, you know, that most men value kindness, being able to communicate well and having a good laugh as they age the highest. And then they point out that looks body, you know, appearance is, you know, down towards the bottom. Secondary. And, yeah. and, and I don't know if I agree. Yeah, I think it's a combination. I think it's a combination, too. And they're trying to say the right thing. And uh, that's understandable. But listen, you can't if you're not attracted to your partner, it's going to create 
issues. And if your partner, if you take care of yourself and your partner doesn't, at a certain point, it's going to be like, hey, I'm working out and she isn't or vice versa. And it's going to be like, hey, I'm looking at my role models for fitness are these people and my partner's role models for fitness are zero. And so do you have a disconnect? So it's good to, if you're both into taking care of yourselves. You both want to look good. You both want to dress well. You're both um, responsive to each other sexually. You're both open about that. You both want to have fun in bed and outside of bed. And you want your partner, I know it sounds corny and it's old hat, to be your best friend because you're going to be hanging around with your partner more than anybody else. So if you'd rather hang around with your friends than your partner, to me, over time, that's going to become an issue because you're not going to be invested emotionally uh, with your partner enough. Yeah. The, um, what, one of the things that, well, here and some of the other articles I read, that, and, and we'll close on that, is that men, in, you know, as they age in particular, that sex has changed in terms of, you know, what, what they want from an intimate relationship. Can you comment on that briefly? Well, I'm not sure what specifically they want. If an older guy wants this, maybe he wants her on top or something. I don't, I don't no, know. No, no, no. I, I mean, don't know what it, the specifics were. He doesn't want to work for. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. And so, but it could be. Uh, but what I meant, what I meant by that, and I should have clarified it, is not you know specifically what they, uh, but that it's it, it, there's more more intimacy versus you know just getting to the punch, so to speak. Right. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, and that's just that humans growing and um, becoming more in touch with their feelings. And particularly for guys, I think women are much better at that at a much earlier age. And guys, it takes time if they get there at all. And a lot of guys, I don't think ever get there. But a lot of guys do. And I think as men age, they realize the importance of romance and the importance of being in sync tactically and emotionally uh, with your partner. And uh, they can improve. But, uh, you know, I think we women, for the ladies out there, you don't want to change the guy, but you can, you can, ha you can help them, and men can help women too. So yeah, no, let's help each other. Yeah, that. Uh, well, I, it's always interesting to have these conversations because it, it gets you to think. You know, it might bring something to the table that's turning men on or off. You know, how legit is it? And you always have great advice right. on that, <laughs> Robert. Well, when, when in doubt, when in doubt, reverse cowgirl style. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, is there anything else you want to add? But I think we'll close on that. <laughs> Robert, we'll link to all of your information, to your podcast, to your book, and I'll see you soon again on Second Act TV. Right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>haven't already done so please be sure to subscribe to our channel the button is right over here just click on through to youtube when you see the little bell right next to the subscribe button hit that too we'll notify you every time we start a new video see you next time